Hi, I'm Richard Sandra. You may also know me as Little Hercules. And a lot of people have been asking me how I get my abs the way they are today. Well today, I'm going to show you an actual ab workout that I do on a daily basis. I do upper abs and then lower abs and then most of the exercises also include the core as well. Let's start with the upper abs. Crunches are one of the best exercises to do for your abs. You may say it's old fashioned, but it still works just as well. <sighs> All right. You wanna make sure that your hips are off the floor so that your back is flat. Put your arms either on your chest or somewhere on your lower neck and make sure your chin is to the ceiling so that you're not bending your head. You're not bending your head and hurting your neck. What we're gonna do is just a regular crunch. Just like that, one. You can either have your legs like this or have them straight to make it a little easier on you. You can also get a little more extension as well. Now we're going to do the frog crunches. This works the lower as well as the upper abs. What you're going to do, you have your arms out like this, bring your knees to your chest, and bring them in with your, with your hands. Make sure you're not resting in between. You really want to have your muscles contracted the whole time. So you go out and in. Make sure when you're doing these exercises, you do it to the point where it really burns. If you set a number in your head, you're just limiting yourself and you're not going and putting the full effort. Now let's continue on with some V-ups. This works the lower as well as the upper abs as well. What you're going to do is you're going to lie flat, make sure your hips are just slightly off the floor, put your arms up over your head, and try to touch your ankles pretty much. Just go up and back down. This may be hard for a lot of you, so what you can do is go up and you can set your feet down. And then up and set your feet down. But try to do that as less as you can. showing you the basic motion of it. Do as many as you can till failure, till it really burns. Now let's do the bicycle. It's a great exercise for the lower abs. What you do is you lay flat on your back, hips slightly up, remember that. You can either have your hands here or behind your back, and just move your legs as if you're riding a bicycle. And to make this harder, you can also work your core at the same time. Twist the alternate hand along with the leg just like this. At the same time you're working your obliques as well. You could also do a similar exercise called the scissors. You start off at the bottom, raise your legs and go just like that. Just move up and down just like that. Now let's finish off a workout with some lower abs. Lay flat on your back, raise your legs up straight to the ceiling, and bring them straight up. They'll bring them to you, up to the ceiling. This works your lower abs. On these, you can also twist your lower body and really get those obliques working again. 
All right. Now, a lot of people might say that there's some type of a secret to getting great abs. There really isn't. It's all in what you eat. For example, if you do a thousand crunches right now, and then you go and eat junk food, you just wasted your time. Your nutrition is the most important part. So be sure to check out my website to take a free assessment to find out how many calories you need to eat a week. And if you want to join the program and get fit with me. Thank you for watching.